Hi guys, it's Gabriel here from Just Perfect Designs. I created a UI design using Adobe XD for my Instagram feed, but while I was on it, a friend of mine asked if I can also make it a functional website. Since it's a good idea, I decided to record the whole process so I can also walk you through step by step on how I'll be doing this. Okay, so we will be using WordPress and a page builder called Elementor. Either you have the free version or the pro version of Elementor, we are good to go. It works just fine for this tutorial. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to begin with, um, as you can see, we have four different sections right here. We have this and this, this and also this. Okay, and I can even call it a five section right here. It is a five section. So basically what I want to do next is go to my new page um, editing with Elementor and then I'm going to create new section uh, for now I'll just do okay I can do um, let's see let's see one two three four okay I can just make this four column right here and then what I want to do on this second column here I want to drag in an inner section just like that okay and you will see the reason why I did that in a minute first of all I'm gonna make this full width um, no gap so you stretched all through this stuff now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this um, hamburger menu you see right here I'm just gonna drag in uh, let's see let's see let's see um let me drag in an icon okay so i'm going to change this icon right here and yeah i think i like this yeah i'm just going to use this obviously i want to resize it uh let's make this smaller about that i think 25 should be okay 25 is fine then next thing is um these two menu right here about and where to watch okay so i think we can just use the list for this let's see the color right here is white wow okay we can use the list for this actually just search in list and drag it right here um obviously we need one yep so uh okay let's go back to this column and then let's um you know what let's just give it a zero margin zero padding so it rhymes with every other thing right here okay with that we have to style this i don't want an icon obviously and right here i wanted to say about just as we see right here and then uh i can like uh, okay i want to do the same thing right here as well so i can just copy this copy and paste it right here so and then i'm going to change this to um where to watch so let's do that we have to watch okay i'm just gonna drag this over a bit and i want to drag this over here a bit okay it's beginning to come in place now the next thing I want to do is this right here. I want to bring in the logo. I think this needs to be spaced. Uh, I'm just trying to align it the proper way so I don't encounter any issue. Okay. Uh, 
there is an issue with this top let's give it a top margin of or a top padding of let's say 10 okay this is looking good alright so the next thing we want to do is drag in our logo right here so doing that we'll have to drag in an image mm -hmm. let's choose our image so I'll be uploading an image from my document uh, let's see let's see let's see okay that's all there you go yeah this is my logo it is actually white and the background is white so you can't see anything for now but we're gonna fix that so next um want to see okay the social icon right here is the next thing so let's achieve that just come down here and then you search for social icon there you go so you just drag it in like that um right here you can see there is no color no extra color no border and all that so we're just going to make this really really simple first of all let me see if i can get another facebook logo other than this uh facebook uh, okay let's see all icon and then let's start with facebook okay here we go i like this better i'm gonna add in instagram just after twitter instagram okay what i want to do next is come down to style right here and uh, i want to I want to make the color a custom color and then the primary color I want to bring that down to the opacity I want to bring it down to zero so we have just plain white right there okay next I would love to resize this obviously it will be too big maybe 24 should be okay let's see let's see uh, okay you know what let's resize it with the background there um what do you say 15 14 i think 14 is fine okay so we have to drag this down to the list and that's it guys we are pretty much done with the header okay um i think we need to fix a little thing but we'll get to that later now i want to create the main arrow section so i will need you to create a single column i want you to go to the height right here we set it to fit the screen so it covers the whole entire page right here now what you want to do is come down to style and then want to import this whole monkey image right here this background so i actually created this using photoshop so we are going to come down to here where it says classic and then click this image box right here i've already imported mine so i don't waste time i'm just going to click on insert media okay so there you go what i will do now is fix the position i want to make the position center center and i want to make the scroll i'll just leave it as default the repeat no repeat and then the size to cover that way you get the exact um you know effect that i got on mine okay so next 
I want to um, make this heading right here, Asia. So I'm going to come down here and then I'm going to drag in, I'm going to drag in a heading. Yeah, I'm just going to say Asia. Okay, I'm going to put it in the center and go to the style menu. I actually used Montserrat, so I'm going to search for, go to the typography, font family. I'm going to type in Montserrat. With that, I'm going to increase the size to about about that then the font weight let's see 700 700 is fine um i want to give it some letter spacing as i did right here so i want to give it some letter spacing like that okay um then the color I'll make it white is as you can see right here the asia pops out more on the original ui design but here is like it's blending in with the background so there's an easy fix to that all you need to do is come down to the general section right here the hero section right here and then you want to come scroll down and go where it says background overlay when you click on that the options you get just click on the background type right here just click the classic and then give it a background color of black which is 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 for the x color code as you can see the asia already pops out more you can increase or decrease the size here depending on how your final original design looks so um let me just reduce this a bit yeah and that is it um the next we are going to create this seven worlds one planet this heading right here seven worlds one planet so we're going to come down here and drag in a heading again <laughs> place it in the center and we're going to type in seven worlds one planet there i'm going to come down to the settings first of all you want to give it a white color as well that's the hex color code is f f f f f f and then want to tamper with the typography a bit i also made this a mount serrat and then i the font size i want to bring it down it is obviously too big about 20 is, is fine the width is okay i want to um maybe give it some letter spacing as well yeah about that let's see yes yes i think we are on the right track already okay with this i think what is left is this button right here so to fix this button it's pretty easy what you want to do is just come down here again and then search for button and there you go you just drag it in again okay first of all you want to put it in the center as you can see right here this button right here is actually down goes all the way down so to do that you have to come down to the advanced tab here let's just give it a margin a margin of um let's see 90. i think 90 is fine if you ask me or let's say 120 or 50 depends on how high you want it to go 150 looks looks good or let's say 120 looks very very good as well okay so now let's style this button to make it look exactly the way it is right here so first of all you want to give it a name and call it um you want to say 
the watch trailer. This is where you change the text. Um, watch, uh, sorry, watch trailer. Now let's go to the style section, and um, what you want to do is the text color. You want to make it white, like that. The background color, you want to bring it all the way down. Yes, just like that. And then you want to give it a border, a solid border. And um, let's use three or two. Okay, two is fine. I don't like border radius around it, so I'm going to make the border radius. As you can see right here, the border is kind of curvy a bit. So what I want to do is, as soon as I type zero here, you see it has some, it already has some sharp edges right here. So that is exactly what we have here and that is exactly what I want on this page as well. So guys, there you go. Um, one thing you can do is maybe style this. I can just make, you know, when you hover on it, I can make the text, maybe probably make the text black and then make the background. So um, yeah. Let's see, make the background white. Yeah, like that. And then the border color, I can bring that down for the hover. So when I hover over it, it comes out this way. When I hover out, you know, when I move the mouse off there, or the cursor rather, it is like this. I think this is pretty cool and subtle. All right. So moving forward, um okay let's see typography let's increase the weight the weight of this a bit let's make it 500 um okay let's do 600 600 is fine so if you should check what we have now this is exactly how it looks before after or should i say the ui and then the original version of it not bad right uh okay what do you say will um, uh, increase this a bit? Let's go to the type. Let's make it. Even bigger, 200 should be fine. Okay, so now I uh, check right here. This is actually on top of the main hero section. That's the menu right here. The header you see right here is actually on top of this hero section. So how do we do that? It is pretty easy. What you want to do now is come down to this section. As soon as you're here, um, you want to go to the advanced and then you want to unlink the margin. You want to come down to the top right here and then you want to start decreasing it minus 85 is okay and this is what we have presently so to bring that up what you want to do is come here let's you know right click and bring out the navigator so you want to click on the first section which you're not seeing anymore it is presently behind this hero section and what you want to do is come down to the advanced tab here and the z index you want to make just increase it by let's say by two and then you see everything pops up like that so when you, you know collapse this this is what you get okay so um i would even bring this down further like uh Okay, I think it's good this way. I'm just going to make this align center. This. Let me take.
zero and the layout the vertical align middle same thing for other columns as well middle and then for this I want to make it middle as well so when we bring this out yeah it looks much more better than it was before okay I want to reduce the size and then change the color of this about and watch and then um, where to watch so I'm just gonna come here go to style I'm going to go to text. Uh, I'm going to give it a text color of white. Um, typography. I want to um, make this 16. Let's see. Okay. Let's make it 15. Oh. If you ask me, I think 13 is fine. And then let's give us a weight of 600 yes just like that now we're going to copy this copy and then paste paste the style right here so it also automatically gets that for this logo um i want to align it to the left so, and then this icon right here <laughs> I want to change the color to plain white as well. So let's see how it looks. Okay, so guys, this is what we have. Um, what is the difference? Okay, um, I see something. Okay, so let's see. The very last thing I would love to do is come down to the general section of the heading and then go to the layout and I want to make this um, you know maybe 1400 yeah let's see how it looks now okay so this is almost what we had uh, we can bring this back we can bring this back you know wordpress is just play along with it so if you keep playing with it you get the right the right stuff especially when using elementor page builder if you keep you know trying to better yourself with it trying to you know get familiar with how it works and all that before you know it you become really really good so this is the final version this is the final version um, this is the UI and right here is the main website where we have this okay let me make this clickable these are already clickable you can see the, the cursor turn from a pointer to you no know, a hand so <laughs> Let me make this two clickable. I'll just come down to this about, go back to the content, you know, expand this, and I'm just gonna put um, this right there. Do this for the second icon as well, icon list. Do this as well. So when I hover over them, they are now clickable. And another thing I can do is uh, let's go to the style and let's go to text. Then the hover right here, I want to change that. When you hover over it, I want it to turn, uh, let's say for instance, I want it to turn yellow or this color, I don't know what it is. So when someone hover over it, it turns to that exact color right there. Or we can just make it white, but uh, maybe bring it down a bit. So you just have that subtle change. Yeah, I think I like this better. I'm just going to copy this. Come down to this and then repeat the same thing. Go to text and the hover right here. I'm just going to paste 
that color code there. And there you go, you have it. That is it. To make this also clickable, you can just go down here and put the link, link to custom URL, and then do the same thing. Now this is also clickable. <laughs> what about um, um, okay, I just want to make it shrink. Yeah. So if you hover right, it shrinks in just like that. And for this, I also want to give this some hover effects, probably the same color like that. So when you hover over, change colors like that. I think it's pretty cool. You can make this um, maybe pop. Yeah, this is awesome. So guys, this is what we get here. You can see the hover effect right here. The logo shrinks. And then um, this pops up like that. Okay, let's see how we can animate this. So we can just come down to the Asia right here. Go to style. Oh, okay, go to advance. Uh, you want to go to motion effect. And then you see entrance animation. <laughs> let's make it, um, you know what? Let's just make it fade in fading down like that and this as well same thing <laughs> go here motion effects and then the animation over animation i want to also make this fading down just like that and for this uh we can do the same thing as well motion effects <laughs> uh, let's make this just fading. I think fading alone is fine. Okay. So, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, okay, let's just update this and then let's take a preview and see how it is. Have a look. Wow, this is really, really cool. Let's refresh it again and see what is there. Wow, I love this. I love the animation and then the hover effects and everything right here. So, um, just one simple thing. In case you um, want to, you know, maybe make it a video or something, this background, in case you want to make it a video, you can actually do that as well. You can come to the section right here. Instead of making it just this image, you can come to the section, go to the style, and what you do is um, you come down to this part. So when you say background type, instead of clicking the classic, you just come down to video. And let's just go and go ahead and grab a video from um, YouTube. Okay. All right. Um, okay, I'm just going to search um Let's say, let's say animal videos, animal nature videos, just like that. Uh, my, you have to pardon me, my network is really, really slow. Okay, let's say you want to use this right here. Or let's see if we can get a better one. Uh, 
Um, okay, I have to spread it long, too long. Let's just go for this, for the four of too long. Okay, let's just pick this. And I want to right click, and then I'll do copy link address. And uh, what I want to do next is come down here. And where it says video link, I'm just going to paste in the link I just copied. And that is all you need to do. So, there you go. You have your video background playing right there. What you want to do next is um, give it some overlay like we did for the background. You want to come down here to where it says background overlay. Pretty much the same step. We want to open that up and yeah so you want to give it a color black and let's just increase this a bit maybe probably 0 0.7 0.7 should be fine just like this and then boom you are good so for background um, for the fallback image let's go back to this background as what we call the fallback image this right here is when um, someone opens the website and maybe they have a very bad network or bad data bad internet like I do right here so this right here is for background fallback um, is what they will see before the video actually starts playing so they will see this background instead of seeing a blank page or you know a, a black or white canvas they will see this uh, previous picture right here before the video picks up so let's insert that pardon me I'm having a very bad network okay so there it is now if i should update this and come back to this page and then refresh it the preview page this is what we are going to get and just wait for it yeah and there you go your video starts playing just like that just like that so let's refresh it again and see what we're talking about okay our animation is there and uh, boom the video starts playing so guys i hope you enjoyed this video um please if you do kindly give me some thumbs up and um please be kind enough to subscribe to this channel I'm just starting up um, your subscription and the comments, the likes on the videos I make helps me a lot. It makes me know that I'm on the right track and I'm actually doing something for you all and uh, you're benefiting from it. So please kindly like the video, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever I post in a new video. So if you have any question, please leave it in the comment section and I'll try my best to reply you as soon as possible. So thank you very much for seeing this tutorial all the way. I really appreciate it. Thank you.